What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. Welcome, indie game lovers. Welcome, roguelite fans. Today, I'm playing Flinthook. Now, Flinthook, if you don't know, came out in 2017. It's an actually older roguelite and probably one of the first ones in the genre. Now, I am doing a let's play of should you pick this up in 2021. Or heads up, it's December right now, so this is super up to date for the moment. Now, if you don't know what this game is, imagine One Piece, but in space. And the whole ge gear of it is, is you're a bounty hunter named Flinthook, and you have, you're a pirate, and you go around collecting bounties of other pirates. Each pirate have their own set of ships, and, well, they have their own theme, and I gotta tell you, it's a great time. The just diverse gameplay, how tightly knit it is, and how fast you can move is what keeps me coming back to this one. Now, just to give you an idea of what we're looking at here on the main menu, we got, of course, got play to get into the, you know, meat and potatoes of it. But there's a challenge mode, lore, so you can kind of get an idea of what the universe is about, very fun. Relics, which are nothing more than trophies. They don't mean anything. Black market, where you can buy new upgrades. But let's hop into a game, shall we? We're going to go through the first two ships, which we have Bad Billy Bullseye and Gold Feathers. As you notice, you get some gold from them, but we're going to go with uh, Bad Billy Bullseye. He's a, he's a sm sneaky boy. Now, this is interesting because you can actually make your own setup in this game. As in, you can set up what kind of build you want to have. You have to, of course, get upgrade tokens to get more slots, but you can have up to, I think, about 15 perk slots or something like that. But mine are already set up, so we're just going to go with the fact that my build's about damage. Alright, so the map selection screen is very interesting on this. Due to the fact that you can always pick between three ships, that little skull icon on the bottom left of the photo shows the danger rating, meaning more reward, but more risk. And right now we have a relic shop, lockdown, and labyrinth. We're going to go to the relic shop so we can uh, get loaded up. Alright, here we are. And if you can't tell, this music is bumping. Look at a little flag waving around. So here's the gimmick of Flint Hook. You have a hook. It doesn't have a cooldown time or anything. You just keep using it over and over. You have a blaster, which kind of set up differently. If you played Scourgebringer, it's extremely similar to that. If you played Monolith, that has a similar layout to that. But the other unique feature, you can slow down time. Let's get into it. Going straight into battle. Get ready for some combat and see if I'm actually worth any time. Oh god, these guys are suicide bombers. I don't think so, Scooter. I'm getting whooped over here like a chump. Right, let's go down here and deal with them. Look at that victory. And like roguelites, you get rewarded all the time. So here's a lovely chest for me. And the other item. There are, I think, a total of five types of bombs you can have, which are your secondary weapon. Each have their own unique trait. They're not even really bombs. Some of them give you invincibility, right? But definitely a nice little addition. All right. Into an upward room. If you look in the top right, you have the map. And the map, they're not, they're always randomly generated, but they do have a little bit of a linear design where you can kind of gather the patterns to have an idea of where to go. I like to try to block off any areas that are standalone, like this treasure room here, so I know where to actually progressively go on the map. And I got hit like a chump again. My whole life. Now, the goal is, is to beat three ships, at least for Bad Billy Bullseye, it goes up with each bounty since they get harder in difficulty. You have to beat three of these ships before you can take on the boss, which in standard roguelike fashion, you have to advance up the levels, collect some gear, upgrade, so on and so forth. Oh my god, I blew it. We gotta go find out what this door is down here. I feel like that's uh, that's our next quest. 
Oh, it's a treasure room. What's gonna kill me though? All right, here's a frost globe. Freezes the enemies temporarily. Now these things right here are interesting. They bounce you, they don't hurt you, but you have to slow down time to get past them. Give me all this money. I'll take it. And here's another one. Spinning skulls. They just kind of circle around you and can hit multiple enemies. Pretty nice, but not my favorite. I actually like the frost one I have and the invincibility one. All right, and here we have a shop, and this man is packing. I'm broke, though. Do I want that ricochet, or do I want that fast blast? Both of these are correct options. The good news is, is I'm not broke enough for that, so they get both. Now they get the blast faster, and those bad boys bounce off that wall. Damn it. Bad. Going up. Oh, I missed the gold. Well, now we gotta fight for it. You gotta earn the right to get gold. Oh, little Stevie. I gotta tell you, I felt pretty proud of those skills that uh, felt very matrix oriented. I'm about it. Oh, I have to get it though. Uh, let's go left. Yeah! Oh, this is new! I'm too broke! I need that, though. I don't have it yet. It's just a relic. It means nothing, but I want it. Like a greedy collector. Alright, so as you can see, we are in the boss room. If you look at the map, it'll show that there's a skull for this room, meaning I gotta whoop these guys ass so I can then fuck up this guy! Took too much help for that. Like a dingus. Alright, since we beat the boss, got some health. Now let's go to the meat and potatoes of every ship. The treasure room, getting loaded up with coins. And I have enough to go get it! Alright, so... Tip for any new players. If you collect out of the big treasure chest in the ship, this, usually a space shell or clam or box, it ends the level, so if you want to get anything, make sure to go back before you collect it. And for me, I'm gonna go buy this thing. Gimme it. By the way, just a reminder. Can we admire the pixel art for a second? I mean, look at this man. He is conniving, mischievous, he's hiding something. He's looking to make a sale. This man has not slept in 48 days. He's on four types of substances, two of which are illegal for sure. And he's living his best life. What's he have to say? Oh, he's gonna keep an eye on my relics. You know how it is. This man's fucking paranoid. Doesn't sleep. And we press on. Oh my god, I almost lost it. All right, let's finish up this ship, and we're gonna head out. All right, we got it. We gotta mash this bad boy open. Got our tokens! And this is our compass. We feed the uh, co coin to the compass. Once we get three of these, the compass will tell us where Bad Billy Bullseye is, and we'll go whoop his ass. Other than that, I'll see you at the reward screen. All right, here we are. 
Got tough troops, multi branch. Treasarium, Treasarium. Dude, what the hell? That's the place to go. Labyrinth the Relic Shop. No, dude, you're offering me double treasure. Who says no to that? All right, we are loaded up with room choices, so uh, let's get going. Oh, I blew it. Well, I'm gonna collect that gold then while I get killed. Oh! That was a lot of money! Alright, what else we got? Another treasure room. We're gonna get paid today. And stab. Oh, that's like part of the agreement on this level. Jesus Christ. I got some money. I got some health back. Alright, we got out of that hellscape. Jesus. Oh, and down. Oh no! We're about to get bullied! There we go. I took some hits, but you know, like... Oh, now I gotta figure out... What's up on the right? Oh, another treasure room! That's what I'm talking about! Alright, this is the invincibility. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I like that one. Crowded room. Go down. Oh, look who's here. I would love some critical. Boo boo be gone. That also sounds like a really good one. I have to save up some money to get that. I have a thing. I don't really like boo boo, so you know. Makes sense to get it. There we go. Oh yeah, time for some more beat em ups. I don't think so, Wimbledon. I'll call you up. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Getting paid! Still not enough, but... Come back for it. Go down. It was the right choice. This is what I'm talking about. You take a chance and it works out. Especially on such a small, meaningless decision as going down instead of up. That's what my life is. Getting paid, that's what I'm about. Alright, let's go collect our goodie. Huh. I don't even know if it's actually good, but I want it. Alright, what is it? Killing items get a bit more effective, that's what I'm talking about! Now nobody can kill us. 
We're gonna live forever. All right. That's what I'm talking about. You think you're gonna kill me? I don't think so, Scooter. Held it. All right, that means we should be coming up on the boss level soon. Um, I'm feeling lucky. We're gonna go left. Wasn't like really lucky. I found this guy, you know. Look at this sab sack. I don't make the food. You don't like it, not my fault. God, what a bad life you live. But we're gonna go up. We're gonna go up and we're gonna collect some fucking dough with some fleet feet. Oh yeah, time to move real fast. Oh god, I'm not moving fast. I hurt myself for my lack of speed. Now it's time to show I have that speed. Because now we gotta fight this man. Yeah, he's a chump, but that's because once you know how to hide from him, it means nothing. He whomped me the first few times I played. Just because I didn't even think about it. I'm like, I'm just gonna get shot by this laser head on, you know, and just keep firing. But, uh, he won that battle. Hey, show here we come. <laughs> Look at this big ship. Gone in a flash. And, and nothing. Nothing to me. I just wanted your gold. Wanted your gold, I wanted your dream. Bazaars and Trezarium, I'm about that. Go shopping. There's a lot of stuff going on in Trezarium real larder, but we can have a four star rating on the Metal Whale with a shopping center and Trezarium. I'm down for the challenge. You hear how serious this music is getting? We're on a stage four ship. It's letting us know it's about to go down. Like going into a potion shop. That's what I'm talking about. I don't even know what this is. Tonic for something. I don't need it though. Little treasure. Don't mind if I do. Oh, you see these purple guys? They're made of poison and uh, they don't die. You can't kill them. They're just there to make your day ruined. But it's alright. I like my floating boys. I just feel like they're having a bad go of it, you know? So we'll just ride the elevator down and get out of here. Leave them in peace, you know, of their life. I don't even know where that rocket came from. the right choice. Oh yeah, I get that boy. That's what I'm talking about. I get paid just to murder people. Not even stealing the gold. I'm going to get paid. Like I get a salary now. A better place to get a salary than a place where I can kill. Oh, we got my favorite boys! Don't worry, I'm coming for you. There we go. Oh, we got a real busy room here. Oh god, everyone came to play. 
What is going on here? Killing me. Going up. Going down. Going left. Oh yeah. Super criticals. Max health increased. I like all of these, but I'm I can't afford it yet. I will though. I'm coming through here to collect treasure. Held it. What I'm talking about, I got loaded. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Alright. Ow, you son of a bitch. Alright. Can I afford it? Not too broken out, right? For some critical? That's what I'm talking about. Gotta get some more combos going. Ow, you son of a bitch. Gets me every time. We're just getting into fights left and right. Okay, we need to. Ooh. Almost back in the hundreds of life. Let's see, we got more treasure over here. I can deal with that. Oh, okay. I thought I could handle that, I was wrong. I keep embarrassing myself. Again, I just lost all the health I came in here for. Oh, we're right at the boss! Look at this piece of shit. Hey, get over here, you piece of poop. Alright, come on, come on, I gotta shoot. Alright, I'll be done in a second. There we go. Now he means nothing. Took a bunch of my health though, see? But it's okay, the worst part is over. So now we're here. Corsair Cell... Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Real special. How broke am I? Ah, oh, I'm just... No, oh, actually I could get that tonic. Hold on. Gotta go get paid from the boss. It's always more money. Yo-ho, yo-ho, pirate's life for me! Alright, let's go get shopping, and get tonic. I'm still too poor? Well, fuck it then. Got more health. I don't need your shit anyway. Alright. 
Let's get out of here. What? A type 4 didn't give me two coins for that? Two green coins? Yeah, yeah whatever. Oh, yeah. We're off the bad Billy Bullseye himself. This is exciting. I'm gonna get to see him in all his glory and watch me take him down. Yeah, let's stack him. Let's fuck him up. He doesn't even know what's about to hit him. Yeah, I'll take some of that. Oh, that 120 is nice. Look at him, he's just feeding his friend. That's his little dog, creature, Appa. I don't know. Alright, get your flying bison out here. Let's do this. Now we gotta wait for him. back for more. Stop shooting, you little bastard. Get loaded up with gold. Bad Billy Bullseye's not having a good time. That's what you get for being a piece of shit. It's a really long fight due to the fact you just gotta keep beating up this tail. Where are you at, you other starfish? Well, I use that in an opportune time. Oh, they did leave me with numerous bombs. We might not make this, because I'm making very bad decisions. Alright, whatever. We got his little starfish friend down. Alright, we're closed. Oh my god! That was my ending. Alright, well to finish up, here's the XP screen when you get a game over. We got a new perk we've unlocked, because we've unlocked a new level. Look at all the shit I collected, and it was all for naught. Well, that about covers it. That's Flint Hook. Should you buy it in 2021? Absolutely. It's an amazing roguelite, holds up, tight-knit gameplay, set the standard for roguelites like Monolith, which are very big in the community right now. So if you like this genre or you're just getting into it, this is the perfect game to start off with or just have a great time. The pixel art is to die for, the music is fitting and bumping, keeps you amped up, the stages and ships are diverse, and it's just overall a great time that makes you feel like you're kind of in one piece in space. And I couldn't recommend it to you more. Uh, other than that, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I'll be coming out with more videos like it. Other than that, uh, thanks for tuning in.